Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sasa Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. The more I cut my hair, the more I look closer to the skull. Just, I don't know. My my hats keep brimming one way. I don't know. Anyways, so today we are smoking a cigar from Midnight Cigar, Eric. Um, he sent me this a while back, and I keep forget which one it is. Because this thing had no label. Uh, this is the Fuente Fuente Opus X, the undefeated. And the only reason I call it undefeated, I guess, is because it's giant, it's big, it's girthy, it's long. It's six by 56. Now, because I keep shuffling this thing between places, a little bit of nick and and and, and holes on the on the on the bottom part of the cigar. But I don't think it's gonna make any difference. So if there is some issue because of the holes, I am gonna ignore it. Okay. So let's take a quick look at the cigar and get smoking. Here we go. Fuente Fuente Opus X the Undefeated is a 6x56 Toro Extra MSRP. Surprisingly, only $15. You actually can find them in the in the CRA Cigar Rights of America cigar pack last year so in a way it's kind of rare but not really because there is it's in the cigar pack but you gotta buy the cigar pack so they produce about four thousand of these and yeah as usual being a piro the wrapper is dominican binders dominican and filler is dominican there's nothing else i can say about the cigar as other than this is a big cigar so we will get right to start okay so you guys know there's not a lot to say so you know it's a special cigar but not really special cigar but it's from opus it's actually one of the cheapest opus if you really think about it and it's big could it be good could it be bad i don't know the smell is just uh on the bottom it's kind of stinky just leafy not not really have any like particular odor of any kind i'll cut too much off dry is good oh hey like a hay a little bit sweet of hay A little bit of saltiness too. All right. Okay. Mm. 
cedar creaminess but the creaminess is kind of sharp almost a little bit of ammonia in there or something like that just woodsiness right now tobacco <laughs> all right there's not a lot of taste right now let me smoke one third see if it warp and change into something you want to be undefeated you better give me something all right don't embarrass eric all right cool we'll be right back all right we are at the first third without going too much over or anything like that it's actually okay so it took a little bit to get the flavor probably that much and the flavor started to come through. You get a little bit of pepper. Right? And then you get a little bit of cedar, woodsiness. And then slowly, as you continue to smoke it, you got nuttiness. You got this fermented, like sour white bread kind of flavor, which is kind of good because it's like a little bit sweet. Okay, it's a little bit sweet. Um, and then as you keep smoking into that edge of second, third, you get saltiness. That saltiness is relatively sharp. So like it's like kosher salt, this very unrefined salt kind of thing. And then that kind of get in touch with that sweet and sourness it gives you a little hint of like black cherry syrup kind of taste that is a pleasant taste but if you sl uh, smoke that smoke I mean retro hill that smoke slower you get this um, dry sherry barrel ammonia kind of smell. It's not really a taste, it's a smell. It kind of stinks a little bit. So you kind of have to get the smoke out faster and that tastes kind of like cherry. So it's plus or minus, depends. It's really how your nose deciphers that flavor, right? Like if you, uh, there's certain things, if you eat fast, it tastes one way, if you eat slow, it tastes the other way. And it's one of those things. If you let it go slowly, that woodsiness comes in, it's kind of like, a, uh, if you don't let that woodsiness combine and just let that go out, that's really a cherry, cherry, cherry note. Yeah, and sweet. It's sweet. So that's the first stir. So far, pretty good. I don't think it's going to have a problem to reach the price tag. But then again, that's an estimated price tag because it's part of a sampler, right? And I'm going to rate it as is. I mean, how it came about is not going to be the subject of how I rate the cigar, but what my experience. All right, so second, third. We'll be right back. All right, that's the end of second, third. How do I call it the end of second, third when it's not really the end of the second, third? Because that flavor changed. So the second, third, you get even a little bit more woodsiness. You get a little bit more fruitiness and floral and sweetness. Now that floralness, floral that kind of combines with the fruitiness into few different fruity note so i'm just gonna say fruitiness because sometimes it tastes like lemon sometimes it tastes like cherry sometimes it tastes like apple sometimes it tastes like fruit of some sort or well, maybe fruit punch whatever but that floralness floralness that floral note kind of gives a variety of different flavor it's still sweet 
the pepper kind of died down. It still had that saltiness here and there. And obviously, you got to get a woodsiness. You got to get a little bit of like, uh, I don't call it like leather or barnyard kind of taste to it. And, um, but overall, it's more, ex it's, it's, it's a pleasant flavor. The mostly pleasant flavor. Mostly pleasant. Now, I'm going to show you guys the band. But the band really is no different than any other band of Opus X. I'm going to try to see if I have other Opus X band. Hold on a second. All right. Here's the band of another Opus X. You can see they are pretty much the same. I can't tell which one's what. Ah, come on. All right, I'm gonna do it this way. Right, it's pretty much the same. So they're the same band, nothing special, nothing crazy. Uh, in terms of band, all right. And that's what I got out of second third. Now the the strains about medium, medium plus, if anything. Uh, I'll say the body is about medium too, so it's kind of even out, kind of pretty good. Yeah, and now it's um, transitioning. So that's the last turn. We're going to finish up. And we're going to see whether or not this undefeated is undefeated. Undefeated. We'll find out. You're right back. All right. That is it. Uh, last turn is just more of a woodsy floral note, a little bit of sweetness. Pretty much it. Kind of died down a little bit. Not very impressive. Obviously, the first two thirds was way better. But overall, this is what hour 43 to two hour smoke. If you smoke my speed, if you smoke any slower, two hour plus. It's a big cigar. It's a big cigar. Um, I think it's one of the okay in terms of price. Okay, um, Opus at you know but the chances are you got to be able to get it and they don't sell this individually really it's part of the pack and before they did sell individually you can find it because the price for me i think this cigar is worth 18 to 20 bucks 18 to 20 bucks because it's a long cigar it tastes good it has a lot of enjoyment into it uh it didn't give me any issues smoking it uh the flavor is pretty good i would recommend this i mean if you want to get into opus and you get one of the cra pack you gotta enjoy this and you gotta see what opus got to offer it's not like they always offer it like this the price range is not always like that it's usually a more expensive the flavor profiles are not usually like that some are really boring some are really good so it's like a gamble but this particular one calling undefeated close but no cigar Okay, it's not it's not undefeated, but it's pretty good. All right, it's pretty good. It's it's up there with the with the with the flavor for the price, right? So uh, yeah, I'll give it between 15, 18 to 20. 18 to 20. 18 to 20 is, is where I'm gonna give it. Pretty good cigar. Recommend it. If you can find a CRA pack that has it, get it. You're not gonna lose out because you get quite a bit of other good cigars with the additional of this cigar. So good all right so that will be it for this particular cigar review thank you uh eric for sending me the cigar i will see you guys next one make sure to like subscribe comment share check out our podcast check out our swag check out our membership and you know join us i'm gonna keep going up here and there and we'll see you next one bye guys